Welcome back to another Route Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to show you how to change your history size inside of a router. So it's pretty easy, and uh, why, why would you want to change your history size? Well, as you go on a router, so we've, we already have a router up, we enable ConfD, we just do uh, your basic commands that you would regularly do, no IP domain lookup, you know, so let's say we're, we're setting up this router just like normal. All right, so logging synchronous, no exact timeout. Okay, so exit a couple times. So, as you probably notice as you're playing around with the router, when you hit the up arrow, you get previous commands, right? So, you hit the up arrow a couple times, and at some point it's going to end. Either you know you haven't been configuring the router that much, so maybe you've only typed in four commands, or uh, you know you've typed in a lot of commands and you wanted to get to the first one, but it's been cut off. Well, you can show the history of commands. You know, you you can hit the up row, but there's a better way to do it. You can actually do show history, and it gives you a listing of all the commands that you've typed in. So, why why would you do show history? Well, a lot of times you could select that, paste it into Notepad. Let's say we do something like this, and then as I configure other routers, let's say I had uh, 50 routers I wanted to to configure, I could type in a bunch of uh, regular commands into the first router, do a show history, copy that into my notepad, and then paste it in into all the other routers. So it's pretty cool. If you were on a uh, terminal server, you could actually do a, uh, a, a much better way. You could send star, and the commands you type in actually get slammed into uh, all the connected routers, which is a pretty, pretty neat way to go. Uh, but in, in our case, you can see show history right there. Uh, your default show history length is about, I believe the default is uh, 10 commands back. So, you know, if, if you're in the CCIE lab or you're working on CCNP level stuff, you're, you're going to be typing in a lot more than 10 commands. So, here's an easy way to change it. Conf D, line console 1, if you're, um, you, know, you're, you want to change the console 1. So, history, size, and you can set it up to 256 lines. Hey, why not 256? If you also want to change it on your uh, VTY, you know, telnet ports, line VTY04 or you know, whatever, and then you have the same thing: history, size 256. Might as well change them both just to just to be cool. And we exit out, and you would uh, write mem and stuff like that. And you always verify by doing a show run. Show run, and it's going to be there. We go. It's in our console and in our telnet, our VTY configuration. So let's test it out. So do interface uh, loopback zero one dot one dot one dot one. Put it in an IP address there. Uh, whoops. IP address. I just mistyping everything today. Int loopback one. IP address. 1.1.1.2 sounds about right yeah no really huh okay 1.1.2.1 okay it's going to take that then we do uh, int loop back to IP address 1.1.3.1 and then do show history let's see what we got hey we've got a lot more than 10 commands so you can see that uh, you know it's it's basically saved everything that I've been typing. So definitely will help you a lot in your studies. And you know, a lot of times, what you might want to do is uh, you set up a lab as you're playing around with it. Uh, you know, set your history size to 256 lines. Uh, copy the history later on, and just see where you messed up, or see what you did right. So pretty easy, uh, pretty easy video. So my name's Humphrey Chung again with Router Gods.